One question we get all the time is, can hyperbaric oxygen therapy help with tinnitus? And are you sure it's not gonna make it worse because of the pressure in my ears? That's what we're gonna cover on today's video. So tinnitus is described as a ringing or a buzzing that we hear in our ears, and it literally drives people mad. In some cases, there's an obvious reason that it happened, an obvious ideology. There was damage or trauma. Somebody was exposed to a very loud or traumatic noise and sound, and that's what sets it off. In other cases, it's less obvious. It's accumulation of chronic or acute inflammation, or even in some cases, potentially viral in nature. Sometimes tinnitus is self-resolving. Someone has it for days or weeks or months and it goes away. Other cases, people have had it for five years, 10 years, 20 years, and they just can't stop the noise. Will hyperbaric help in these cases? In my clinical experience, there's a continuum of tinnitus from acute onset to chronic in nature. So in my experience, some of the best results we get in tinnitus is if the exposure was a trauma. So if there was a specific incident, typically traumatic in nature, that damaged and inflamed the inner ear, creating tinnitus, and we get to it relatively quickly, the results are unbelievably fast and unbelievably strong. On the other end of the spectrum is someone who's developed tinnitus over the course of their life and have had some amount of tinnitus for the last 10 or 20 years. And in those cases, we still often see some response, but it's not as dramatic and it's certainly not as fast as the other example. And everybody else is gonna be somewhere in the middle. Some were traumatic, but they've had it for a long period of time. Some are acute onset, but there was no obvious trauma that caused the problem. But in all of these cases, we're talking about an inner ear issue that is often associated with inflammation of some kind. Do we know that hyperbaric helps to reduce inflammation? Absolutely, and we have at least a dozen videos on those topics. And is there reason to believe that the inflammation associated with tinnitus is somehow different or special compared to other sources of inflammation in the body? No. And so should hyperbaric actually help to reduce the inflammation associated with tinnitus? Absolutely, yes. We'll get right back to that video, but real quick, if you're a practitioner or you're looking to get into hyperbarics and you're wanting to learn more and making sure that you're offering this therapy as effectively and as safely as possible, I want you to know that we offer a series of courses, some of which are online and some of which are in person. At the hbotcourse.com, we'll include a link below. We have several courses available from training and certification in hyperbaric medicine, safety director, as well as a few different business implementation options to get the business up and running. So if you think that training and education would be helpful for you, take a look at the hbotcourse.com. Again, the link will be in the description below. We also know that the direct blood supply to the cochlea is pretty minimal and that a lot of the oxygen that needs to get to the cochlea for improving function, for maintaining the health, and for removing the inflammation comes from the diffusion of oxygen through the perilymph. And inflammation being in the perilymph will reduce the amount of oxygen that's actually able to get to the cochlea. Anytime that we have passive diffusion needing to oxygenate an area, so creating a higher pressure gradient on the entry side of the perilymph so it's going to help drive more oxygen through the perilymph into the cochlea to improve its function and to help it heal. We know that at, certainly at higher pressures of oxygen, we can increase oxygen pressure up to nine times greater. So between driving the levels of inflammation down, getting more oxygen to those tissues to help heal and regenerate the nerve and the cochlea, we should absolutely have a positive effect on tinnitus as a result. Again, as far as the program of care goes, a more acute exposure in a shorter timeline is likely going to respond in a shorter timeline as well. And a person suffering from tinnitus for a very long period of time is likely going to need many, many more sessions. Just to put some numbers to that, somebody with an acute case that was mild traumatic could be a 10 to 15 or 20 hour exposure of hyperbaric oxygen. Whereas somebody that's been dealing with this for years and years at a time is likely going to need more sessions like 30 hours, 40 hours, 50 hours of treatment over the span of three or four months. And then as far as could hyperbaric make my tinnitus worse, our clinical experience would say no. As long as you're coaching your patients through the process of equalization. We know that the number one injury associated with hyperbaric is middle ear barotrauma. So is that an appropriate concern for the patient? Of course it is. But patients should never have pain inside the chamber and patients should never push through any pain inside the chamber, and patients need to know how to equalize the pressure to keep their ears safe. So as long as you're building the pressure slowly, you're coaching the patients through the process of equalization, they don't have any pain in the chamber, 
then they do not need to be worried that there's going to be any further damage to their ear, their eardrum, or any increase in tinnitus. But it's absolutely important that you go through those steps to keep them safe. Like any other condition, of course, there's no guarantees. But is it appropriate to think that hyperbaric may help these people? Absolutely, yes. And clinically, we see a lot of great results in our clinics. Hopefully, this video both helps you understand how and why hyperbaric may help people with tinnitus, and hopefully puts to rest any concerns that you or they may have with regard to further damaging their ear or making the tinnitus worse. As always, I appreciate your attention, and I'll see you on the next video.